I have got one, two, three, four, and five boxes that uh, I have to, to open. And you know, this is a great problem to have. I'm gonna be honest with you, right? Not Certainly not complaining. Um, I'll try and get through at least half of these this weekend. And I got some others that I fixed that I was gonna review, but I think I'll focus on this one because it's small. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Uh, I they've all these have come in. I've been busy at work and I haven't been able to focus on them. But if I'm right, I think this is going to be an Invicta, which I know, right? Invicta, um, they make good quality watches, but they also make some real weirdo watches out there. You know, it's uh, it's uh, different tastes, different interests. Um, I I have nothing against people that like Invicta. There's some really cool Invictas. Some of them I've seen that are awesome. There's some that uh, I think um, could cause an aneurysm or seizures. Like I saw one that had the Joker and it was a skeleton watch and some other things going on. And the crown was as big as the case. And I wasn't really sure what to think. But I was particularly interested in... And I'm, I'm getting more confident as I open this, even though I haven't looked at it yet. But I was looking at the Pro Diver. I could totally have to change this video if this isn't what it is. So we'll see. Okay, let's keep my... Please be... Oh, yes, yellow, I think, is Invicta. Excellent. This is the Invicta Pro Diver. Boom. There we go. Very interesting. So you may be asking why the Invicta, Todd? Well, I'll tell you because I happened to notice that a Rolex that I was looking at looked exactly the same as the Pro Diver. And I figured, huh, that's interesting. I want to learn about this. Why do they both look almost exactly the same? And does that mean that one is better than the other? Obviously, the Rolex is nice. Um, but I wanted to see, is there really a different, is there, is, is there really a difference in quality and price between one that I paid $50 for and one that costs, uh, I don't know, $5,000. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research on this. I'm going to open it up, but in the time being, please watch a video about Invicta. Invicta is affordable craftsmanship. My name is Sandy, Sandy Lee, and I am uh, the chief designer of the Invicta watches. Details is one of the key points of Invicta watches.
right, now that you've had a chance to look at the history of Invicta, let's get right into this watch. So, first thing I wanted to mention about this watch, uh, and it was really the reason why I bought it, is because, to me, it looks 100% identical in, in every way to the Rolex Submariner. Classic, classic uh, diver watch. Um, they have nearly the same specs. Now, this is a quartz. Invicta does also offer an automatic, which uses an ETA movement, and uh, I believe this one does too. I haven't opened it up yet. We'll find out. I'll open it up and then uh, host a video on that. But the it does look exactly like the Submariner, and so of course you know the Submariner is like a five thousand dollar watch. This one says it retails for three ninety five. That may be the case. I paid fifty dollars for it, brand new. It's in really good shape, really good condition. Um, I'll tell you right now, it is a solid watch. It's not the largest watch in the world. Um, here I've got a, a good large size modern day watch. And this is the size of this watch, which is typically much smaller, but that's okay. One of the ways that I judge a, a watch's quality, among other things, is, is also in the type of, type of uh, strap that it comes with. And this strap is actually really nice. It is a, uh, these are solid links. So, just for perspective, even the, the Vengers that I've reviewed do not have solid links. So, I'm a big fan of it already. Uh, I think that uh, they've done a good job of uh, putting some quality effort into this watch. Um, it looks just like a Submariner. And when I get all this stuff taken off, we can kind of take a look at it. It's hard for me to really know the difference because there's a couple slightly different versions of the Submariner. There's one that has a thicker guards by the crown and there are some that uh, have smaller ones like this there's a submariner that has the exact same case style that looks exactly like this so i'm going to put up the submariner directly to the right i think there's different angles so you can kind of see but uh, you can tell very obviously they are nearly identical um, the watch feels quality uh, even even for a an MSRP of three ninety five, this is a good watch because the Vengers, which are also definitely high quality, uh, usually have a slightly higher. Well, I, I guess that's kind of pretty much their MSRP. But this this looks and feels spectacular. A little bit smaller than I would prefer to to wear, but this is very much sort of the modern day version of the old skin diver. Uh, it's signed. It's actually in really good condition. Before I, before I really get into the watch, let's get into the movement so we can learn more, a little bit more about what's on here and the next part to my review will be good. The Invicta Pro Diver Quartz uses the Seiko PC32A tuning fork movement, which is a low cost but high quality, no jewel Japanese made movement. The PC32A movement is produced by Seiko's SII movement manufacturing branch in Japan. It is a cost-effective, high-quality design that is used extensively in a multitude of watch brands. The movement runs at 32,768 cycles per second using a two-pole step motor. The movement uses SR626SW silver oxide battery and supports a hacking feature to conserve power. Typical battery life is between 24 to 36 months with an accuracy of plus or minus 30 seconds per month under typical ambient temperature. All right, so now you've had a chance to take a look at the movement and you can tell um, it is a, <clears throat> it's a Seiko PC32A. So it is most definitely not the most expensive movement in the world, but it's a good, solid, reliable Japanese movement uh, by Seiko. So I'm just going to get right into it, um, and I'm going to put the other watch up next to it, the, uh, the Rolex. So you should see that. Um, first thing that I will say is if you are looking for um, a watch that looks just like the Rolex Submariner, this is it. This is probably the best, best low cost uh, value for your money that you will ever get for a skin diver type watch. If you are looking for a skin diver in 2020 or 2021, this is it. This is 
This is about as perfect as you're going to get. It matches that style. It is perfect. I'm mean, look at it. This thing is identical to the the Rolex Submariner. So, um, you know, most people would scoff at me even mentioning it, but I am I am not so much part of the aristocracy as I'm just trying to review watches because I enjoy it. But the uh, the Rolex, obviously, that is a it is a three thousand. Um, it is a sorry 300 meter depth watch this is a 200 meter um it's thousand feet versus 660 or is the devil 666 for for that model i forget is that the is that the omega i can't remember um the watch watch band is quite good you know i always complain about the fact that i don't like watch bands because uh bracelets because they're always cheap these are solid links and this watch is available all day long on the internet for, uh, you can get it all day long shipped $60. I, I got this at like $58 shipped with tax um, just because it happened to be the cheapest one that I found that was brand new because I wanted brand new. But it's it's a spectacular watch. You know, I'll take off this, I've got my AV8, which I love this watch, but I'll take this off so you can see um, sort of the size. It isn't, it hasn't been sized properly. You know, this is this is what you're going to get if you get the Rolex Submariner. They're basically the same size. This is a little bit different. Obviously, another huge difference, of course, is the Rolex Submariner comes with an automatic movement. Um, and it is a quality ETA, probably 2024, I guess it is, or um, or their own movement uh, of sorts. But, you know, this is, this is a quartz movement, 200 meters. It works. It's good. It's a mineral crystal. It's not sapphire. It has a trim ring. Um, it's signed on the side, signed on the crown. It's actually very nice. Uh, big date. Really like it. I mean, nobody really uses that Submariner for, for, for diving. At least they shouldn't because it would be kind of ridiculous. Because this bezel is not a good bezel. And it's the same on the, on the Rolex as well. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to use it. It's, it's hard to move. I've, I've seen the Submariner and it just, it's the same thing not really dive watches so much as they're skin divers that's just what they were meant for that was a thing in the 70s but it's a very nice watch um i actually really like it i mean i i just have to say if you want an all-around watch that you can wear um that looks good is nice it's not gaudy and it gives that style that you're looking for that sort of 1970s early 70s james bond um Rolex Submariner look, this is it. You just can't beat this for the price. I mean, $50. And you've got a Seiko movement uh, all day long. This is going to be reliable. The only thing I don't like about it is it is a 200 meter. It is a 200 meter watch. And while I like that, the truth is, is that most watches of 200 meters have a screw down crown. This does not have a screw down crown. Uh, it does do hacking, so that's good. Um, if I sell it again, I'll leave it like this so it saves power, but um, no screw down crown. So I assume there's a, I actually didn't look, I should have looked. I assume there's a gasket in the back and one in the tube, nice big thick one. I did change the battery when I had it open, uh, but nice watch. Let's check out the loom. I want to see, and then I'll do some quick measurements. So the lights well, it's brand new, the pip is lit up, all the, the hands and the individual points and the second works well. Of course the watch is new so I'd expect nothing less of it. But still great watch. This is just a good all around watch and I know a lot of people poo poo all over Invicta, but I will tell you, this is a good solid watch. I can't say it anymore. Um, if all you're trying to do is tell time and you want this style, this is your watch. This is your watch. No point in spending $5,000 for a Rolex just so people look at it and be like, man, that guy's got a Rolex. Um, I'd much rather look at the Invicta and say, hey, looks exact the same, can't tell. The guy's a little bit more frugal. I mean, if you start showing up with the Joker watch, it's got a crown. As big as the, as big as the, the face, it's a different story. But this is a good solid watch, and I'm very impressed. And Invicta has good quality, 
even if some of their designs are strange. I think everybody should have this as they're all around. Go to the beach, go to the pool watch. Um, maybe even in the boardroom. So, I don't know. But I'm probably going to keep this one. We'll see. Um, thank you. Hopefully you liked this this video. Uh, if, you, if you liked it, leave a comment. Uh, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, also leave a like. If um, you would like to see more reviews, please let me know. Leave a recommendation in the comment section. And please subscribe. I really appreciate your, uh, your patronage. Um, it means a lot to me, and it helps make these videos worth it. I don't make any money for it. I do it for fun. But uh, the more views and the more subscribes, the more worthwhile it is. Thank you very much.